So whenever, you know, this little uh, 12 year old girl is like, hey, Bucky, uh, you know, I did this, I did that. I can go ahead and like this and it'll only, it won't update the entire web page. It'll just, you know, update that little section right there. So another thing um, that it does is I'll show you guys some other examples later, but that's basically what Ajax is. It's it allows you to communicate with your server while the user is still on the web page without interrupting their experience. And another couple cool examples is say you wanted to, you know, go to Google and look for a web page. Say you want to type in the new this is Ajax. This is, excuse me, little uh, Ajax that you see right here. All this information of the new, it isn't stored on your computer. What this is doing is it's actually communicating with a server and as you type in your query, it's going to the server, it's getting new information, guessing about what you're going to type in, and whenever it has those guesses, it displays them on your web page. So every time you type in something, your web page isn't, you know, refreshing, it's actually just updating this little smart, small portion right under your input box. And the last thing I want to uh, show you guys is, way back when, what you needed to do whenever you submitted a form or sign up for a web page is you basically needed to submit all your information, you know, your ID, and this is just eBay right here, your ID, your password, your, you know, security question and answer, and you submitted it, and then it went ahead to the server and it was like, oh, dude, sorry, uh, someone already had the ID. Well, then you need to type everything in again, and it was a real pain in the butt. So say that, you know, what's a common name, Ashley or something, Say that you want to use the name Ashley and then you know we're filling in uh, you know your password right there. Well actually at the same time as you were filling in the rest of the form what was happening behind the scenes is that eBay was using Ajax to take this name and send it to the server check whether or not it was taken and then give you the answer. So before you even submit that data eBay is already telling you dude that name is available and you're a guy so why would you even want to use the name Ashley so that is a couple things that Ajax allows you to do now for this tutorial series I just want to mention that you're gonna need to know a couple programming languages and first of all PHP and JavaScript are you know basically Ajax is JavaScript and XML so you need to know those but I'm also gonna be making websites as examples so you need HTML and I'm also use, gonna be using PHP so if you don't know all of those HTML, PHP, JavaScript and XML then you can probably get by because I'm gonna be explaining everything briefly as we go along so don't worry but if you um, what I would recommend doing anyways is actually going in if you don't know one of those then just go ahead and go to my website watch your videos and you'll be good to go so hopefully you understand basically why people started using Ajax and why it's useful and why it solves a lot of the problems that you use on web pages nowadays so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna start making some awesome examples and in the next couple tutorials I'm gonna show you guys how to set up and build a very simple program or web page using Ajax. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.